the instant that one realizes that you're having a genuinely new thought is in, essentially indescribable. I'm sure that this is something similar to what people describe as a muse. It seems unworldly. I had a little telescope I'd take up country and everybody in the village would come out and they'd look through the telescope and see the craters in the moon or the rings of Saturn and they'd go ooh and ah, just like my family and friends back in Michigan do. And it finally hit me, this is what makes us human. This ability to look at the sky with wonder. I look through a microscope, I can't help but be struck with a sense of awe and wonder about what I'm looking at. And I can't help but reflect on the larger questions of life. The human spirit does uh, gain a lift from pure curiosity, trying to understand who we are and where we fit into the larger scheme of things. Because if we didn't have that sense of awe, if we didn't have that sense of curiosity, we wouldn't start down this road in the first place. It's hard to do world-class science. When you look into something, you almost always get a surprise. And then that surprise leads you into new pathways. Are there failures? Absolutely. When you don't have very firm grounds, you're really searching for a needle in a haystack. I collected a lot of hay before I found that needle. It sure is fun to play in this space and to make new discoveries and hopefully make contributions that move us forward. Science loves problems. Any fool can find the solution. <laughs> Takes a genius to find the question. We live in a world loaded with questions and puzzles. If you know how to look, you can begin to see connections among humans and other species and between humans, other species, and the planet itself. And when you see those connections, it's hard not to be in awe. Uh, that uh, kinship that human beings share with all other creatures on Earth is a very, very powerful thing and helps us to understand the continuities and to place into context our uniqueness. So we get into those philosophical questions of what is life? And within that context, what is it to be human? There's this incredible universe that surrounds the Earth for us to go and explore and that we as humans have to pick up that charge. And then it becomes the task of human societies, cultures, and religious communities and philosophers to dig deep and find out what, what that message is that's beyond just what science is telling us.